are here today because youth need uh, to meet, youth need to have a strong network because the situation in Europe is uh, really difficult for most of the youth and most of the students and the young generation. There is a lot of difficulties that we are facing in the daily life, but there is also difficulties that we will face if the climate crisis, the war are still continuing and all government doesn't do anything about it. It's important that youth is present here at the summer university because we have important things to say. Our voices need to be heard and also it's a chance to, to network, to meet with other comrades from other countries that they might have similar issues to what we can face in home. So then we can have this knowledge as a summer university uh, tries to develop uh, to, to, to be stronger together, to build these bridges. I decided to take part in volunteering this summer university because I think it's important that youth, uh, especially from my city, uh, sees how events like this work from the backstage and also gets the chance to witness different points of view and takes from important people and hopefully help find some sort of solution to all the issues that threaten our lives and also the lives of future generations. We are here because we are fighting for a world of solidarity with people from all over Europe. So we decided to meet, we decided to talk, we had strong debates and it was a moment of solidarity, of sharing, but also a moment of connection because this connection is the first step to create a big network to be able to fight with each other for the same struggle and against uh, the fascist government, the conservative government that are privating most of the youth from their liberty today. As a Portuguese young woman, this is very important for me. Our generation is afflicted by the housing crisis, by the inflation, by low salaries, and also by the far right that seeks to put in question everything we've won as women, as LGBT people, as racialized people. And that is why we need a strong left that can fight all these problems and build a better Europe and a better Portugal.